Here we assume that the marginal propensity to consume is 0.6. We know that there is a multiplier effect and that the crowding out effect is $10 billion when the government increases its spending by $20 billion. Because the government is increasing its spending by more than the crowding out effect, and there is an additional increase in spending from the multiplier effect, we know that aggregate demand will definitely shift to the right, so we can eliminate choices that say it shifts to the left. To determine the size of the shift, we need to calculate the multiplier and then determine the size of the multiplier effect. If we solve for our multiplier, we need to plug in 0.6 for the marginal propensity to consume, which gives us 1 divided by 0.4, which is equal to 2.5. This means a $20 billion increase in government purchases is equal to a total effect of 20 billion times the multiplier of 2.5, which is equal to $50 billion. Once we subtract the crowding out effect of $10 billion, we can see that the total effect on aggregate demand is $40 billion. So this is our correct choice.